Hey there guys, so do you see that hermit crab in the yellow shell? Because I think I have officially solved the mystery. So, first of all, I checked out this tank and I thought that there was a dead hermit crab in it. And I freaked out a little bit and I was like, I better not tell anybody it's dead. Better not tell the group that it's dead. And then I was like, wait, hermit crabs molt. So they can actually shed their exoskeleton, their, um, the hard exoskeleton that surrounds their bodies, which is made of calcium carbonate and chitin, which we've talked about in class. They can shed that once they grow too big for it. So I was like, perfect. It just shed its exoskeleton. So just to make sure, I counted how many hermit crabs were in the tank. So there were three hermit crabs in the tank, and now there were only two that were alive. So then I was like, okay, maybe this hermit crab is dead. Um, so unfortunately, you know, I picked it up with a net. I was going to dispose of it in the big tank, and then it moved. And I was like, what? And then I looked up online and when hermit crabs molt, it actually takes them a couple hours. So this guy actually left his shell and is just hanging around like in the tank without his shell, um, trying to fight with other crabs, trying to find new shells. And then the craziest part about it was then I was watching and he actually went over to the yellow shell and he chose it and then he actually climbed into it and now he's in that yellow shell like nothing happened and you would never know so hermit crabs have this whole like strange world that they live in and all these things that they do and they look like they're not really doing that much but actually they're doing a whole lot and you can capture a lot of this on time-lapse photography so I'm lucky enough that I got to see this and I wanted to share it with you guys and you've been able to see a hermit crab molting in real time Pretty cool. And now we know, and the hermit crabs can live in peace. See you later.